Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to work with the content query web part. And to set that up, I have created a site collection here called IT, and underneath that I have the Project 1 subsite, which has some Project 1 tasks in there, and the same thing I've done for the Project 2, which has also some tasks. All right. So what I want to do now is show the information on the top side of my site collection, all the IT tasks, whichever list they're created in. You can of course do that with the content search web part that I've shown in other demonstrations. The downside of using the content search is that it builds on the index and the index has a delay. So anytime you add a new task, there's going to be a delay before it actually shows up on the page. So I'm going to edit this page now and uh, let's remove this web part and then instead I'm going to add the web part for content query which is under content rollup. If you don't see it that's because you have not enabled the publishing infrastructure on your site. You need that. So I'm going to add this and then I'm going to go in and edit the properties of this web part. And the most important thing is of course to edit the query. I'm going to show items from this list type. As you see by default, I'm getting items from all sites in this site collection. That's another one of those major differences between the content search and the content query web part. Content search goes against the index, which is the entire tenancy of your SharePoint. The content query web part only uses this specific site collection. So that's a major difference. So I'm going to show tasks and then I'm going to just apply that. And we'll see the results in a second. And there are all my tasks. To make this a little bit better now, you see I got an error message there. Let's remove that. That's under presentation. Underneath here, the URL path. You can just clear that text box there and things will improve. So I'm going to also show some grouping here. I'm going to group by site and then show that in two columns since I have two subsites here. And let's just apply that now. And here we go. There are my projects as headings and the tasks within those project sites as uh, links there. I'm just going to change one more thing, then I'm done with this demo. And I'm going to change the appearance here to, to should say IT tasks instead. Apply that. And then we save the page. And there are my tasks and my projects and everything works as it should. Thank you for watching this demonstration which shows you how to use the content query web part which is part of the publishing infrastructure on Office 365 SharePoint Online. Thank you for watching.